Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have an art journal page that I've created which is quite simple but packs a punch. I'll be working in my Dina Wakely 6x6 white journal. I simply love this journal and I've been working in it all year. And I have recently cleaned out all my dies and kind of organized everything and I'd forgotten about this set. So this is a bunch of hills and water, and they're all die pieces that you can cut and put together, and I'll be using these for my page. The papers I'll be using are from Paper Rose, and these are called Serenity Textures, and these were perfect to me for the natural colors and printed textures. I have pre-cut all my shapes so that I can decide how to arrange these onto my art journal page before I go in and cut the papers. I'll be using these as a template to cut out each of the pieces as I go forward. I'll be basically working from the back to the front, so my back sheet needs to be 5.5 by 5.5, and, and I'll just trim around the edges of the paper. My next sheet will be this green, and I can place the die just right on top of the template. And then I can place a piece of tape to hold the die in place, and then I can run this through my die cut machine. And once I have that die cut, I can trim this to the desired width and length. At this point, I have most of my hills and valleys all die cut together, and I've clipped them so that I can keep them in place and figure out the placement of my last hill. I'll be turning this one into a hidden pocket with a tag. So what I want to do is to place it onto my die cut plate to where that bottom piece won't cut along that bottom line. Once I have the top portion cut out with the die cut, now I can trim this on each side of the edge of the die. And then slide this behind the hills and decide where I might want to trim this so that it hits the bottom and then I can trim this off. I'm getting ready to do some stenciling and I'm going to be using the Tim Holtz grip mat on my glass mat so that it will hold the small pieces in place while I do the stenciling over top. For the stenciling I'll be using some Simon Says Stamp stencils and also archival ink since the papers have a somewhat slick surface and will require a more permanent ink. Since I don't need to stencil all the way down on the paper, I'm using my second layer just to see if I have enough stenciling done on the first layer. And once I have my stenciling done, I will go around the edges and darken them up and give them a little bit of a distressed look using my ink blender and also ground espresso archival ink. I've chosen about four stencils to work with and I'll be using them alternately through the project and depending on the color of the paper, I've chosen one of the four archival ink packs to work with. On some of the pieces, I'm going with a really light touch just to get a light image. And once I'm done, I'll add some ink around the edges to give them some definition. And now that I have all my pieces stenciled, I'm gonna start assembling this and I'm using Simon's Stamp Craft Tacky Glue. This will give me a really nice permanent bond and will dry flat so I won't have much bulk to my page. I'll continue working down my page, adding my hills, and I want to make sure that I don't glue my front piece in place just yet. This lighter piece will have the sliding mechanism for my hidden journaling just behind it, and so what I want to do is make sure that I have it placed right where I want it, and I'll tape these two pieces together so I can flip this over and work on adding some adhesive. For this I'm using some score tape, and I've gone all around the edges of where that sliding card will be, and now I can remove the backing of the score tape and add this to my journal page. And once that's in place, I can slide my journaling piece in behind and make sure that it slides easily in and out. And for the very front piece of my journal page, I'm using a new Hero Art set, and I'm using the word adventure. And I'll just place this right onto the hill where I want it centered. And I'll be stamping this with the Black Soot Archival Ink. And once again, using my Simon's Stamp Craft Tacky Glue, I'll be adding glue all over to the back, and I can place this last piece just to the bottom of my configuration of hills and valleys. 
I've cut a piece of black cardstock five and a half by five and a half and here I'm just adding glue to the back of my page and the black piece will give me a really nice strong border to complete the page. I've added glue to the back of the black cardstock and now I can add this to my journal. I like working with the glue because I have a little bit of time to move this around and make sure that I have it straight before it sticks in place. And to finish this off, I'll be using some of the Tim Holtz label stickers and also the Simon Says Stamp T-squared to help me line things up. Then I can punch a hole in the top of my hill, add some string, and slide it into the pocket. Here's a look at my finished page. You can use a pen to create some journaling along the hillsides and also in your hidden journal. And I really love the natural and simplistic feel of this page. I do have all my supplies listed in the description box below, along with a link to the blog post for more information. I hope you've enjoyed this project, and as always, thanks so much for watching.